Hey guys, how are you all doing? It's Cam back at you again. Today I'm bringing you my favorite whammy bar tricks and how to do them. And this is just a long list of sort of need to know ideas if you want to really rock out. As a player who doesn't use the bar that much, it's something I've sort of put off talking about because so many other people do. But in this video, I'm giving you loads that you can sweep into your melodic playing and use for fun, but also there are one or two joke ones as well to have a laugh about. First disclaimer actually before I start this lesson is use a guitar with the Floyd Rose. In this case, I'm using a Charvel Sandemus with the FRT 1000. And in this case, I'm using a fully floating one to get the most out of these tricks and to cover as much ground as I can. But of course, there's the German made one, which is really cool. There's the Goto variations as well. And to be honest with you, for this video, use a guitar with a Floyd Rose, end of. First trick is the classic dive bomb. Okay, so to get a really good dive bomb, one detail a lot of people miss is actually how hard you pluck. So many people will just go and slowly bring the bar down, which is totally cool. But in order to get it to work really, really well, sort of Van Halen style is you do a really big pull off here. And, and it doesn't matter what string you do it on, but either the G string or the low E string seems to be the most common ones. And what you want to do is see if you can hear this. You can hear it where the string, uh, the string, the string twangs on the fret wire. You can hear it hitting. That's what you've got to try and capture. That's what gives it that <laughs> effect. <laughs> Come up on a harmonic and you're well on your way to doing Van Halen stuff right there. Another cool trick you can get from this if you do some pull offs. <laughs> and you slowly bring it down in a controlled fashion, you get a trick also known as the siren. And in this case, I'm taking a lick from the Def Leppard solo, Women, watch. And you slowly bring it down in a controlled fashion. In that case, I went 12 and 17. Then gave 12 on the G string a ton of vibrato to come out of the lick. Next one is colloquially known as the dirt bike. This trick is very famously used at the start of Kickstart My Heart by Motley Crue, and it goes like this. And the idea with that one is you, you're pulling off and then bringing the bar up slowly to achieve the original pitch. And into the riff you go. You can also do a similar thing, the uh, almost like dead or alive effect by um, Van Halen, where you play an A chord. Really cool. Try that out for fun. This one is the gargle. Well, in order to do the gargle trick, you pull the bar up with your finger and let it sort of fall back under the fingertip so it just goes boing back. Very famously used by Brad Gillis and Steve Vai and all those kinds of players. And it's really fun. You can do it in different ways. You can do it on a single note. That's a really cool one. And then another good one would be to do harmonics. And then team it with a dive bomb and it's wicked. The next one is the Vi Pump. These are ridiculous names, dude. Now, in order to achieve the Vi Pump, it's always important to have the bar resting in one place. And the whole idea of it is you're basically tapping the bar and letting it bounce back. And just to outline it in the pentatonic scale. <laughs> See there, I'm hammering on and pulling off each note as I come down the scale there, and between each note, I'm doing a pump on the bar. So. Very much I know your hair style, that chord. Then if you want to hear it in a slower context, for the love of God is a good idea as well. This 
one I've named The Empty Room because of where I first heard it. Now for best results with this one, soak your guitar signal in reverb and play The Empty Room solo. <laughs> And obviously combine the whammy bar stuff with vibrato from your fingers, really important. You don't want to become too dependent on this. And the idea here is that when you bend up a single note, you're pushing the bar down slightly to almost simulate what a finger would do, but then instead you're controlling how fast it comes back up. It can be really subtle, or a little bit more. And then teamed with a dive bomb usually comes with it. And it sounds great for single notes and other bends too, but then, and also another cool thing you can do is play some really dissonant chords. It works alright with power chords. Fine, cool. But then also, it sounds really interesting if you play a chord like this. See there, I've got 14 on the G, 13 on the B, and 10 on the high E. So yeah, soak your signal in reverb and give some of those a go. This one I like and it's called the swoop. Now the swoop is a bit weird, it's kind of like a tip of the hat to Jeff Beck, but in my case, not as good. And what I'm doing here is I'm playing basically a D major chord. Then what you do is you play the first three notes, in this case going down. You get to the triad there. Dip it down really slowly. And you're not going too far either. And then you hit the, uh, the, D uh, the D chord, the D chord, the D note, 12 and the D. Really good to throw into your more melodic playing there, so it sounds really, really cool. I can't believe he did that on a two point trend, but there. And it works really well on the minor variant as well here. So yeah, definitely worth a try. Now for a selection of different Van Halen-isms. Now for this first Van Halen one, I guess you could just call it Beat It, because it's the same sort of trick used all over the place. In this case, I'm on the B string. 5-3 open. And then when you hammer back onto 5, you dip the bar down and raise it on that E note. It works really nicely, and you can do the same thing on three note per string patterns as well, like this. So it works really nicely for that stuff. Uh, another one that's very similar to the vibe pump in a way, but involves a little bit of different sort of styles of playing with this hand. So if you go... Um so what I'm doing there is I'm bending up, I'm in the A minor pentatonic here. And I'm pushing down on the bar quite hard there, so you can really hear the string under stress. But the idea is... You press the bar down and then bend up. Very, uh, I first learned how to do this trick in the Can't Get This Stuff No More solo, though. Really cool trick, but he uses it everywhere. Then, of course, you get the classic sort of elephant thing, where you've got the harmonics that... That's used all over the place. The horse thing, which is where you get a double harmonic, that... And that, the idea is where you push the bar down, but gradually go down in increments until you, till you get pretty much to the bottom there. This is a little bonus one for you guys. You might be playing some kind of swaggy solo, or it might be... A... One thing that you can throw in that's a little bit of a viism here, and I'm not, um, I've not talked enough about pulling the bar up, but instead of going down... That's what, which is totally cool, but there's something else you can do. You can pull the bar up, pull it up a whole tone, let go of the note and then release the bar or let it go back down. It's a really cool different way of phrasing you don't hear too often these days, and it gets that weird sort of sound. Uh... 
Works really well with a bunch of other different Vi style licks there, but I thought I'd throw that in for good measure. Thanks a lot for watching this video, you guys. I hope you've liked what you've seen. If you'd be interested in getting some one-to-one -one tuition with me, please see the description box. My contact information is down there, and I really look forward to seeing some of you there. In the meantime, take care, stay safe out there in these crazy times, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.